maybe you've seen my recent short videos showcasing different mining dumps in the Mansfeld Südharz region of Germany. These spoil heaps only exist because overburden was piled up there during the mining of copper shale, which is a type of shale that often contains copper sulfides and trace amounts of metals like silver or even gold, also uranium to some extent. All the copper secondary minerals revealing why they mined this stuff here. Its distinctive black color is caused by organic impurities and the high proportion of finely dispersed pyrite. The natural radioactivity caused by the uranium content varies quite a bit. Dose rates up to 1 microsievert per hour can sometimes be observed in direct contact to the shale. Approaching 1 microsievert per hour. While the shale was mined mainly for its copper and silver content, the slag that formed during the smelting process was also used, mostly for durable paving stones. The activity of uranium within the shale varies. The slag paving stones are by comparison relatively homogeneously contaminated with radionuclides that were accumulated in the slag. This means that the local dose rate on roads and squares is elevated where such paving stones had been used. Have a look at this example. The asphalt shows no elevated readings, while the paving stones on the other hand are noticeably radioactive. The counts per second are increased by a factor of up to 5. If we check the dose rates we see similar readings for each stone, which is to be expected. Values ranging from 0.4 to 0.7 microsieverts per hour are quite common. Those paving stones were also exported by the GDR. You can also find them in Western Germany as well as all over Europe. That shouldn't be too much of a concern though. Natural products like granite can be similarly radioactive. 